Hey guys, what is up? Lefty back here again, and thanks for checking out the video. Uh, excuse the lighting for some reason. The wiring in my place is just dog shit, and uh, yeah, this these lights don't want to work, so excuse the kind of the piss poor lighting um, and stuff like that. But anyway, what I want to do is kind of a different little video um, than I usually do. Usually, I'm you know talking about gun handling and stuff like that, and that's all. Obviously, that's important to be training on your skills and your tactics, and obviously, you know. A secondary component of that is like your physical training, make sure you can run and, <clears throat> you know, beat the shit out of somebody, which I definitely need to get back <laughs> into the gym because I'm looking like a little bitch. But um, so basically what I want to do is kind of the other side of the house today and just kind of talk about my reading list for the times we're kind of moving into at least more deeply. So let's get right into it. Okay, and then I'll have all these uh, down below if you guys want to check them out. Um, a lot of these are available... If you look for them for free, I will make a list for them in the, the Prime thing or whatever like that. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can buy them, download them, whatever, and that helps the helps the channel out and stuff like that. If guys feel the need to, um, or just buy whatever you want, it really don't matter. Um, but, you know, it's there if you guys want to look for it. But obviously, uh, some of these books are actually on if you have, like, the Prime reading. I think you can get them for free and stuff like that, which I have on here and stuff like that. But anyway, going into it. So let's get right into the first book, which I actually think is actually pretty... Um, conveniently timed uh i was thinking about this when this thing came out so obviously we have the whole facebook um whistleblower thing which honestly when i first seen it i am just i was just kind of like shocked like i don't understand what they're exactly blowing the whistle on here um you know and stuff like that and she's just a product man i don't know the whole thing was just a little weird and honestly i think it's kind of a ploy for just government control over facebook more so then they can crush basically any and all competition in the kind of the social media market but anyway that's that's whatever so the first one i want to talk about is fahrenheit 451 now this book is um written by oh god i can't remember his name bradbury right yeah bradbury uh i do enjoy his books i think his writing style is actually really interesting um i'm not a big fan uh, i love i love the content of this book i'm not a big fan of his writing in here uh, bradbury's got a very good selection of short stories i actually kind of prefer more but the content his story that he writes about in Four, fahrenheit 451 is actually a pretty good story about censorship and book burning and all that stuff so i think that is a good book to check out especially obviously nowadays where they're basically instead of burning literature although they are doing that they're basically going after the first amendment more broadly speaking in terms of social media censorship and all that stuff so that's a really good book to check that out uh let's go a second one probably the biggest one everybody is expecting is besides like the bible which i'm not going to put that in there uh there's a couple of books that are a little bit more spiritual or way beyond philosophy that i can kind of talk about but maybe in a different one something like that i don't know but obviously the big one is 1984 um, by, I'm blanking on these people's names. Everybody knows 1984. Um, fuck, what is his name? Orwell, there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm retarded. Don't mind me. I'm highly regarded in my uh, sphere. <clears throat> but yeah, 1984 is actually kind of an interesting one. A lot of people take the context of it of just like, the you know, totalitarian government is taking over the, you know, the, the city and the blah, blah, blah. I think it's kind of interesting that a lot of people seem to kind of ignore the fact that this is sort of a love story. I think that's probably the most interesting part of that book. Because when you hear about it, you're talking about like, oh, big brother, you know, cracking down authoritarianism, blah, blah, blah. And then you look into it and it's like, it's kind of a love story in a, in a really dystopian type of, you know, situation. So it's kind of interesting on that front. <clears throat> It's, it's actually a love story from multiple different perspectives, which is kind of interesting. If you read the book, you kind of get what I'm going for there. But um, one of George Orwell's kind of lesser known, but still known, is Animal Form. I think that one's really, really good. Um, it's basically a tale of authoritarianism coming to power um, through multiple historical ways, but told in kind of a fairy tale kind of wrapper, if that makes sense. Um, where basically all the animals can talk and stuff like that, but all the animals kind of represent people and stuff like that. So that's also a really good book. Uh, that one's actually fairly short. That one I think is under 100 pages or something like that. So that one's a pretty easy one to kind of put, pick up and smash through in one sitting if you have the time, which <laughs> I do not anymore. Um, I forget the person who actually wrote this book, but this one is actually very interesting as well. This one is a little bit more chilling to me than the other ones because the other ones are very big picture kind of thing. 
um, you know, there's so many pieces that have to fall in line in order for these worlds to come to fruition kind of thing. But uh, the book is called The Children's Story, and it's actually not a children's book at all. Well, I guess it's, I, I suppose it could be. But it's basically a very short little snippet of what could happen if a totalitarian regime took over the uh, education system and basically implemented their own, you know, policies to break down what truth really is and break down the family. It's really, really interesting. I actually think that's a little bit more chilling because it's so, it's not that hard to do when you really think about it. Um, you just got to get certain people into certain positions and then, you know, everything kind of falls apart because if you can get the younger generation you know that's when uh some real shit can happen uh so the final one that i'll do for this little list little list of five i actually have this one physically um all the other ones i do have uh, digitally just because i don't know i'm a millennial i guess i don't fucking know but it is a brave new world by elvis huxley i wish i had physical copies i should just buy them and stuff like that and reshoot the video because the lighting sucks dick anyway but um, but yeah, this one is really interesting. This one goes a little bit into the philosophical, I can't talk or think today, the philosophical idea in a dystopian world, like what true happiness is and stuff like that. And is happiness just satiating our kind of carnal needs or there is there something more to it and stuff like that? I think it's actually a really interesting book. And this is actually my favorite one, which is why I actually own it um, physically. <clears throat> so it's a very interesting book. I think there is a show based on this. And obviously there's 1984. The movie is actually fairly decent as well. Um, there is a, I think it's on Peacock or whatever. I had, I've only watched the first two free episodes and it, it looked kind of interesting. It's obviously changed and stuff like that. But it's a really interesting book. Um, and that touches more onto the philosophical side of the house, which I didn't really want to get into. I mean, obviously we can go into a whole bunch of philosophy and stoicism, stoicism and stuff like that with... Uh, Oh, I cannot remember his name. I'm just going to give up. But, you know, I'll probably think of it and probably make a separate video, maybe going on to the more philosophical side of the house for a reading list. If this is interesting to people who, you know, kind of want to get into that kind of stuff. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like I said before, links are down here if you want to check out any of the books or check out any of the other stuff to help support the channel. You can buy whatever you want. Uh, and I just get a kickback. You don't have to buy anything that you see below. Just something on Amazon going through one of those links and I'll get a little bit of a kickback. Um, <laughs> I actually, it was funny cause you know, I have EDC stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then I get a little notification from Amazon that somebody bought lotion or something like that. So I got a little bit of a kickback from lotion. So it was kind of funny, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, um, yeah, hopefully we get more, you know, gun stuff and fun stuff, but you know, it's just been crazy nowadays and stuff like that. I just don't have the time or the money to really go and do a lot of shooting and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys can, you know, understand and kind of stick with the channel. Um, but yeah, pretty interesting stuff coming up eventually. So be good.